A bit late to the party, but we finally got our hands on Huawei's Mate 30 Pro, and it's a shame for such a feature-packed phone to be suffering due to the company's current situation. The phone comes with the latest Kirin 990 processor, a 6.53-inch HDR10 OLED panel, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, quad cameras, and a 4500mAh battery, pretty much the makings of flagship of the year. But unfortunately, its software lets it down. It comes running EMUI 10 and Android Open Source Project, or AOSP, and the biggest concern everyone has with it is whether or not it can run Google applications out of the box. Now, when you take it out of the box, you do get things like Huawei's App Gallery, but we're so dependent on Google services that not having them is a big factor to choose one phone over the other. But it turns out it's really simple to get Google services up and running on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro. First things first, go ahead and download the file in the description and save it in a location that you can remember on your computer. Next, you'll need a USB Type-C storage drive or even a regular USB A drive, as long as you have an adapter to get it running on your phone. Reset that drive first and then copy the extracted contents of the files you just downloaded onto the drive. From there on, you just need your phone. Plug in the USB drive on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro and go to Files, where you'll be able to access it. You might see one or two files that you didn't put into the drive, but that's okay, we're just gonna focus on the ones we copied earlier. You wanna hold the Huawei.zip file, select Extract 2, choose Current Directory, and then click Ahead. Next, you want to go back to the USB drive and this time focus on the Google folder, which we have to copy and then select other location. You want to navigate to internal storage where you'll be pasting the files that you just copied. Just to verify, you can go ahead and go into the Google folder in your internal storage and see that all six applications are there. Following this, you want to head into the settings of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Scroll down all the way to system and updates and then choose the backup and restore option. You might see a message pop up if you're using this for the first time and all you have to do is click agree and move ahead. Going further, you want to choose the external storage option and then USB storage. You'll find a backup here which you want to select and make sure that both apps and data is selected when doing so, just like I'm showing here. You can go ahead and restore which will prompt you with a password option and that's just the password being displayed on screen. So all you have to do is copy that and then click OK. That should wrap up your restore process and you should see these two applications on your home screen but we don't have to do anything with them just yet. You want to go back into files now and this time access your internal storage where we saved the Google folder earlier with the six applications. You'll have to go through each of these six applications one by one and install them just like so, allowing access to each one. The installs do take a bit of time, but it isn't too long. Going back to the home screen, you'll see a lot more applications there and we're almost done now. You want to open up the application with the purple G logo next, click allow and then click the blue bar once and then again. It'll start a loading process where you'll see an error on the first file and that's when you want to hold the power button on your Huawei Mate 30 Pro and restart the smartphone. After the restart is complete, you can go ahead and access the Play Store just like usual. Now, when you're signing in, make sure you unplug the USB drive connected to your phone because that sometimes causes errors. But once you're in, it's just like the Play Store on any other smartphone. You can download Google-specific applications like YouTube or any of your favorites and all of these apps will natively update from the Play Store. So that essentially removes the Huawei Mate 30 Pro's biggest flaw. We'll be using the phone for the next few weeks, testing out its performance and seeing how it holds up against other flagships. Let us know what you'd like to see specifically down in the comments and we'll try and make it happen. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. This was Vabov and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!